What's up, everybody? Game Junkie XL here. You guys might know, and I haven't been uploading a lot of shit lately, except for win this shit. Done three episodes of that so far. I just ended the God Mode one. Uh, I just picked this up actually, Riptide. Uh, I pre ordered it like a month or whatever, however long it was on Steam before hand that you could order it. Bring Chimam to Ken Food? Okay, we'll do that. I'm not gonna do an LP of this. I just basically want to say that I appreciate everybody who is a subscriber. What's in here? Ooh, find a helicopter crash. You guys can see I'm pretty far ahead in this game, actually. Um, oh, I leveled up again. I'm now level 66. What are we gonna add? Uh. Do this. Why not? Yeah, I'm pretty well combated out. Uh, I got most everything over here that I actually want. I'm not a big charge fan. Not a big. You can see I'm a bladed weapons favorite. I love my katanas. That's how I play this kind of game. Um. Team level is 26. I'm not gonna go through this too much because a couple team members die and shit. And we don't want that. We don't want to show you guys who haven't played this game yet. Or maybe you don't know about this game or know what this game is like. Um, we could go through achievements and challenges, but we're not gonna. I like the case book. It basically is like kind of a mini bestiary. And in this game, you have special boss type enemies. Like Olivia Deathbone Winge. Jimmy Death Trap O'Neill, I mean, and these guys are basically, if we can go to, let's go to our map here, you can see this is Ryan's house, these little areas are instanced areas, they're really cool, like here, infested storage, dead zone entrance, now there could be a boss in here, I don't really remember to tell you the truth, but if you go in one of these areas and there is a boss in there, let's see if we can find one, yeah, Agio Mok. This was his area, and before this, it was just an infected laundry or whatever it was called. So that's kind of cool. So you might be asking yourself, Game Juggy XL, why are you doing this? Well, I'm just I'm just giving you a little update of what I've been doing. Why I haven't been uploading shit. Why I haven't been doing shit? Because I've been playing this fucking game. I'm like 30 hours into it now, and uh, I'm almost at the end actually of the story section. Um, I putter fucked around with it though. So, I haven't really, uh, you know, played right through. I've done side quests and everything like that. But what am I doing? What am I doing here? Um, quite simply, uh, we're going to do the last free giveaway, uh, which will be number four. Not last entirely, but last for a little bit, a little while. Um, we're going to take a month or two off of giving away free games for now. Uh, simply because I'm going to pool everybody and see what kind of games everybody's into. I'm going to look at all your YouTube channels and just see what you've been liking and favoriting. Um, I'm going to look at the type of games that you've been playing if you're on my Raptor account. And if you guys don't know, uh, I do have a Raptor account. I'm going to include that right at the bottom of this video. And I'm also going to uh, include... Do, 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 do my Steam. So if you guys want to add me on Steam, you can go ahead and do that. I'm also going to reform the uh, website that I had for originally from a guild for Guild Wars 2. Um, Guild Wars 2 was kind of a letdown to me. It doesn't mean I'm entirely done with it. And I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm not saying it's, you know, horrible by any means. Um, what I'm basically saying is that right now I'm not in the mindset or the ability to want to play it on a continuous basis. Uh, I haven't played it in, well, quite a while actually. Um, I'm going to be going back to it and just playing it for a little bit here and there, but it's nothing that I'm going to dedicate loads and loads and loads and loads of time to just because I think it's at a stage right now that for a hardcore Guild Wars player like I was, like I played Guild Wars pretty much since inception until, I don't know, maybe Guild Wars 2 came out. 
And on my Raptor, I got into Raptor a little bit too late. It was after I was done playing Guild Wars, so it says I think I have like one hour invested in it, but that's completely fake. Um, Guild Wars, I have. God, I wouldn't. It's, it's probably got to be one of my longest games I've ever played. Um, where are we, where are we going? Where are we going? I gotta look at my map. Whoop. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna close out the gift giving season. Um, I know a lot of you guys have probably been watching Riptide footage on the internet, and you're like, "Oh, that was pretty fucking cool." You never got into the Dead Island series by Deep Silver. Deep Silver is they've done an excellent job, I think, um, on the original Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide. And a lot of people are hailing this game as something that, oh, it's, this isn't special or unique. This isn't anything important. Um, but personally, what I think about it is, is they actually did add quite a bit to it. I mean, there are special bosses. They put in instant areas. There is persistent weather effects. I mean, it could be nice outside right now. And then all of a sudden, you can get like a huge torrential downpour. It makes it really hard to see. It's, it gets foggy. You know, it, it's really cool. And they added quite a bit to the Dead Island mythos, actually, with the inclusion of Riptide. It's not a sequel. It's a continuation, which is something you have to be in. And, and honestly, I think if they had changed entirely how the game worked, like if you had taken out the Dead Island kick and you would taken out how combat worked and how the game flowed, it wouldn't even be Dead Island, so I don't see why everybody's harping on this game saying, Oh, it's just like Dead Island, just a new area and everything, because it's not. They've added quite a bit to this. And simply, that if you can look at Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide... Wow, I haven't done a lot up in here. I think we're going to be going up in there eventually, when I get done recording. Um, but yeah, they added quite a bit to Riptide that wasn't in Dead Island. They made, you know, I wouldn't say that weapon, weapon durability got vastly better. Maybe I'm wrong. It may have went up a minuscule amount, but you can see they put workbenches every fucking where. I mean, you can't even count the number of workbenches that are on the screen right now if I move around. It's crazy. But anyway, if you're one of those people that never got into Dead Island, if you never got into, um, I don't know, if, if, if you've been watching Riptide or you watched Dead Island and you thought, you know, that's a pretty cool game, I'd like to do it, but you never wanted to put that in the cash for it, I am now presenting you guys with giveaway number four, which is an absolutely free copy of the Game of the Year edition of the original Dead Island that includes Ripper Mod, it includes uh, the Rider White DLC. And I have to be kind of uh, critical. I haven't been here yet. I have to be kind of critical because I never actually played Rider White. I gotta go back to my version of Dead Island and actually replay it so I can do Rider White. Um, but yeah, I'm not giving away Riptide. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, "Oh," But who knows? Maybe someday. Maybe someday I'll give away Riptide. You never know. Anything can happen on Game Junkie XL. Uh, Zone Pirate 13. But, for now, we're just going to go back and give everybody a chance who watches me, uh, who hasn't played the original Dead Island. We are going to give you a chance to win the original Dead Island Game of the Year edition. Oh, look, I got an M72 Law. Sniper rifle. I mean, there's there's a lot of new weapons in this and everything like that. But yeah, back to the sub. I get distracted quite easily. Um, yeah, we're going to go back and we are going to get a little retro. And I will be giving away one copy of Game of the Year Edition for Dead Island, absolutely free, to a subscriber. So if you guys want to play the game and you never want to put the cash down for it, uh, put a comment on this video. Because I'm not going to do a, a win this shit number four. It's going to be included in this one. And let me know why you want to win Dead Island. And I will pick a winner. It won't be on a weekly basis. I'm just going to one day just be like, okay, yeah, you're going to win it. That's how it's going to work. And, uh... 
I'll see you guys next time. Keep gaming, keep owning, and uh, yeah. See you guys in the next upload. Peace.